We can now exit all of the panels. The next thing we have to do is to number the lots. This is done under Design, Estate Lots, Number Lots, Create Lot Numbers. This is not to be confused with annotating the lots. So if we turn back on the model Lots and Park, and we select the data source, which will be Model, the lot model will be Lots. We'll start at lot number 1, and the lot type will be Lot. We'll leave the new lot colour as orange. We're going to auto increment the lot number and increment it by 1. So we click pick and we pick out on the edge of the lot. Once we've highlighted the lot we accept with the middle button and you'll see there's a number 1 which is just temporary at this stage. We then pick the next lot, number 2, 3, 4, Five. If you pick the wrong side, you just click again until it flicks over to the other side. Eight. Nine. Now go down to this one. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. So there should be fifteen lots. So for this one, to do the park, we can actually change it to view and the view will be 1, the next lot will be called park and the lot type will be a park. Click pick and pick until it highlights the park and accept. The only one left now to do is the road so we'll change the lot view, we'll change the lot number to road, the lot type will change to road we click pick and just pick until it highlights the road and accept. We can now click finish. We can now annotate the lots. This is done by using the option design, estate lots, label lots, lot labeling. We have a lot annotation file previously made up in the user library folder called training.laf and then click read. We're now going to start off with the lot types down the bottom will be all lots, the data source will be view, view and the view for lots will be view 1. We then click process. It will then calculate the annotation, checking for duplicates. Once it's finished, you can then go to the plus button and turn on the models for both the areas, bearing distances, lot numbers and short segment tables. The annotation has been set for a default of 1 to 500. The view generally is a default at 1 to 1000, so if we go to the menu button, walk right on settings and click on plotting scale, we can simply change the scale here to 500 and click set, and you'll see the text all gets smaller to reflect how it would look at a 1 to 500 plot. Let's toggle off now our vertex indices and let's also toggle off the vertices.